Hey everybody, welcome into three up and three down. I'm Kramer Santo. That first up is the Cleveland Guardians winning the draft lottery. The Cleveland Guardians were supposed to pick ninth. They're not picking ninth, they're picking first. They beat out the Athletics, Royals, and Rockies who had the 18.3% chance of getting that first overall draft pick. Guess what they're not doing? Getting that because the Cleveland Guardians did. So it's bravo to the Cleveland Guardians. Number two on my up, Jared Kelnick going to the Braves. It seems like a salary dumped us first. Marco Gonzalez was going to go there. But, no, he's not there anymore. He's one of the Pirates. And also Evan White. That's a big contract taking on. The Braves got those guys for, what, trading Jackson Coar, basically, who they just got from the Royals. I feel bad for the Royals on this one because they probably should have went out and got Jared Kelnick. They didn't do that. But my up is for the Braves on getting Jared Kelnick. Probably the most well-rounded team in Major League Baseball is the Atlanta Braves coming up to this season. On my three up, New York Yankees getting a hold of Juan Soto. They had to trade a lot of people for it, including Michael King, Drew Thorpe, Johnny Brito, Randy Vasquez, and Kyle Higashioka. But the Yankees got in return Trent Grisham and Juan Soto. That's a pretty impressive feat. But you have one year, Yankees. You better sign it to a long-term deal because this move might look very bad if nothing happens. But good job on getting the sweepstakes of Juan Soto. Improves this team so much. What is he, 24 years old, younger than me, and he hasn't even hit his prime yet. Big things are coming from Juan Soto in that short porch. Now, one down, the Seattle Mariners. What are you doing? You traded Eugenio Suarez, Jared Kelnick, Marco Gonzalez, Evan White. This is a team that could be a playoff contending team. You know what they're not doing? Building a team that can be for the playoffs. Or is it for Shohei Otani? Well, I guess we'll have to see, but right now they're on that one down. Number two, the Boston Red Sox trading Alex Verdugo to the Yankees. I absolutely hate seeing Boston Red Sox going to play for the Yankees or a Yankee player going to play for the Boston Red Sox. The biggest thing for this is, if you're Red Sox fans, you absolutely hate this. Remember, you traded Mookie Betts for Alex Verdugo. You got neither of them now. I feel bad for you, Boston. Sort of, kind of, not. Number three on my down is the Kansas City Royals. This team was supposed to be in the top three of the draft lottery. They didn't even get in the top five. They got the sixth pick. There's two teams in their division, such as the Guardians, who got the first overall draft pick, and the White Sox, who pick ahead of them, made have a better draft capital than the Kansas City Royals. Kansas City Royals are abysmal. They definitely deserved the first overall draft pick, but they're not getting it. So that's my 